Good morning. This is our video three of our series 2007 Crown Victoria. This is our H2O, H2GO now, uh, 2007 Crown Victoria. Basically, let me show you where we're at. So I've altered the plumbing and everything several times trying to get the best run on just the hydroxy. And we've had some pretty good success. We've got our new pressure regulator in there and basically what that's for is the computer controls the fuel pressure on the rail and we wanted to take that control away so when it escalates higher than what we can manage out of our uh, blue box this is actually going to return the excess fuel to the gas tank. Now to do the repairs on the gas tank I had to empty the fuel tank completely now as you can see we put a new little uh, nozzle into the fuel tank and just JB welded it in there repaired all a couple little leaks that we had and this is our return hose it isn't hooked up yet now if we had any fuel in the car whatsoever uh, the fuel would come running out of this line <laughs> our blue box has been uh, absolutely wonderful I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever no leaks no rips no ravels or run down on the heels as you can see we've gone through a lot of water so I know that we're producing lots of hydrogen lots of hydrogen and we got everything all put together inside the vehicle as you can see we have a pressure gauge which shows us our manifold pressure we have the alter gauge mounted up on the top so that the driver has pretty much uh, eyes on all the gauges all the time and how we're going to be regulating our bias pressure with the fuel is with that little rheostat there Anyway, I've got the new laptop all fixed up and ready to rock and roll here And I'm going to show you how everything works now What we have to do is just build up just a little bit more pressure it likes 20 plus to run well while it's doing that I'm going to show you that we have absolutely no fuel in the gas tank whatsoever. It's below triple E. All we're going to be running on is that hydroxy pressure on the gauge. Now that I've got the system up, we're going to hit, go ahead and plug in our little USB, fire up our all tracks. Well, we're on our maiden voyage here. This is uh, Crown Victoria 2007 H2GO now. Uh, progress report number three. This morning you see we're running on about 50 amps. We've installed a gauge so we can see what our pressure is. And this is our maiden voyage on the hydrogen. Turn that down a little bit, about 20. We are running just on water. We got a pretty good grade coming out here, so this is going to be a pretty good uh, opportunity for us to see whether this is going to work or not. As you can see, we're completely out of fuel. A little bit rough. We're hoping that the Volvo will take over here. Like I say, it's really hard to get a standard engine, especially a computerized one, to do all the things that you want it to do. But we've come pretty close with the Volvo with the SHO program in it. Well, here we are, just driving on water. Yes, we can motivate. Roll up the windows here, so you can hear what I'm saying. And we've got things down to about four amps is all we're cruising on right now. Now the difference is when we get things that high in pressure, 
the HHO has a lot more energy because I think we're actually folding the hydrogen molecules together to make H4. But anyway, it has a lot more energy. The higher the pressure you go, the more energy it has. So we're going to step on it here. bit jumpy but hey we're running on water what do you expect yeah we're up to about 90 on a 35 so we better cool our jets a tad anyway I'm gonna splice a couple pieces from one before I got the car off the jack stands again this is before fuel we're running on just the hydroxy pressure in the injection rail and we're doing it about five amps. Pretty miraculous, I think. Now we have probably a gallon's worth of uh, pressurized space in there. So now that my pressure's gone down a little bit, I'm gonna hit a little bit more amperage. That brought us up to about 16 going downhill and not using anything. It's time for some AC. No problems because we're drawing what 18 amps from the charging system. Excuse the shaky video but this is what I got to work with and I think we're doing pretty darn good with what we're working with here. Thank you Jesus this thing is running great now. Kind of smooth. Now that we've almost got the engine up to temperature, that means that it's going to be heating up the water and the cell will put out a little bit more and the steam seems to slow down the, the burn rate and make it a little bit more compatible with the vehicle's computer. I think what we're going to need in the future is probably a dual injection system for one of these. where we can inject the fuel and the hydroxy because when we go to mix things it gets a little bit complicated because you always have one trying to overwork the other one we don't have a really good proportioning system it's just kind of line of sight watch your gauges type of deal anyway this is doing marvelous this morning and this is probably the end of our series 3 video because I better concentrate on driving uh, this is Fred I'll catch you in a minute